and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we are connecting to the sign of Pisces for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Really wherever you have the Pisces placement in your chart. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Pisces. <laughs> I had a Pisces comment on my video last week like my uh, my Pisces self was staring at the diffuser because it was changing colors the whole time <laughs> and I'm like same same all right let's get into it okay so we got Phoenix <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces during this week? What does Pisces need to be aware of? What are the energies surrounding Pisces? Where is Pisces going during this time? Okay, got a few that came out. All right, so we have the koala, the lion, the phoenix, and the griffin. So let's start with the koala. Um, optimism, harmony, and balance. Ooh, I love that energy. That's such a good place to start especially for you guys, you're being guided to find the harmonic balance of your mind, body, and soul. So you may be seeing a lot of 333, three, even some 222, two, two. Um, 1212. Two. Focus on your heart's um, desires. Live your life with purpose, passion, and joy. So Pisces, you're really being called to cater to yourself, um, balance yourself, get in harmony with yourself, and make sure that you're in alignment. I just feel like this energy where it's important that Pisces is doing okay. Pisces is happy this week. Pisces is feeling like, um, you know, they're in alignment. Where do I even want to, I don't even know, like what energies are more most important, let's get into the griffin. Balance, clarity, and spiritual enlightenment. You're being guided to find the harmonic balance of your mind, body, and soul. That's literally like the same first sentence of the koala card. The abundance you seek um, already exists within you. You're strong, independent, and fearless. Take flight and achieve, achieve what you desire. Okay, the universe said, say it louder for the people in the back, okay? Um, yeah, guys, you're really being called to get into harmony. Maybe you're feeling off balance this week, um, or you've been, you know, feeding, giving too much of your energy or not giving enough. That could be the thing, too. You could be being asked to step out of yourself, but also, you know, step into yourself. It really kind of depends on um how you've been living so we have the lion loyalty courage and leadership you're being guided to take back your power okay so that sounds like maybe you've been given a little bit too much of yourself as of late um you are a powerful co-creator with limitless inner strength and confidence when you allow your voice to be heard the people around you will listen is what it says at the bottom of the card and that's on period yeah you're being called to tap into some powerful energy this week pisces and then we have the phoenix, faith, transition, and spiritual awareness. You're being guided to remove what no longer serves you from your life, turn your ideas into action, and they will transcend beyond your expectations as you detach. Doors of opportunity will open and something magnificent will emerge. Wow. And you know, honestly, tapping into that energy, I don't immediately feel like that has anything to do with detaching from a specific person. Tapping into that energy, um, yeah, Pisces, I just feel like it's about detaching from other people's emotions in the sense where what other people want and, you know, fear of disappointing people. I feel like that's what you're detaching from, not necessarily people. You know, you're you're just I feel you guys kind of getting in this energy where it's like, you know what? I'm gonna let them be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna let them be mad. If you want to be mad, go ahead and be mad. But I'm not going to change what I'm doing. You know, I'm not going to, you know, put myself on the back burner because you're mad <laughs> i love that energy coming from pisces all right let's keep going 
yeah you guys i feel you guys kind of questioning and feeling like you know what i kind of just want to do something for me king of wands eight of pentacles and the three of wands here you guys may be being called to start a creative project and i feel you guys really excited about it or you know i feel like you guys have been daydreaming about something like how your life would be if you were doing xyz like i see you guys doing a lot of daydreaming a lot of fantasizing about being on a specific path and you really want to pursue it and you're ready and you're already pursuing it i feel like low-key um and you're just kind of like this is what this is something for me like this is my passion project this is something that i want to do i don't care what people say um you know or you're getting to this place where it's like listen i've supported other people for so long i'm just about ready to go for like what it is that i want to do yeah and i love this energy this is a lot of actual energy we have seven of wands and six of wands six of wands is progress six of wands is going your own path six of wands is also like uh ahead over the competition okay you are on top of here with your with your um cheated print jacket while the basics are on the ground you're on your horse okay <laughs> so you're wanting to do things that feed into yourself you're wanting to tap into your own boss power and seven of wands here is really just like nothing can stop us i'm all the way up like I just feel this energy where you're just like working at it working at it working at it doing your own thing I like that energy all right now let's see what else is going on okay yeah and some people to be honest and that's that's this is literally like truth versus reality okay truth versus reality or wait I don't think that's how the saying goes <laughs> But you guys get what I'm saying. It's like, this is how, that's not how the saying goes, actually. But five of swords, people are feeling like you've turned your back on them. People are feeling like you're being so cold when really your cup is open, but you're, you're, you're open to having it filled for you. I'm not going to the watering well to get you a drink. I'm supporting myself. Like, this is the energy I feel you getting in Pisces, and honestly, more power to you. People are so, so afraid to be selfish nowadays, like, especially you know for women i gotta be honest like there's just so many unfair standards um that we're supposed to hold ourselves up to and i'm proud of you pisces for realizing that and saying you know what whether or not you're a woman but just realizing that you need to feed into yourself and not caring like i don't care but it's just like there's a lot of pressure and then you know you gotta be a certain way you gotta want certain things otherwise you're less of a you know not to get on that rant train but seriously i just i get this energy where pisces is taking care of you and i like that and it's bringing you to this two of cups position honestly this doesn't have to represent a romantic relationship at this time because i see pisces really worried about yourself not so much about other people at this point you're just wanting something for you so this doesn't doesn't have to be about romance this can be about the masculine and the feminine side kind of joining forces uh within yourself so that you can have some progress pisces but you know i ain't even gonna hold you this is a bit of soulmate energy here that i see coming in so we'll see how that develops in a little bit um but we have the king of pentacles in reverse <laughs> yeah i just feel you guys taking taking responsibility whoa okay i just heard something very very specific someone has been watching a lot of like sugar daddy content <laughs> or someone has really been binging binging in that lifestyle just wanting to travel wanting to live that life jet life ow like some of you guys have really been wanting more for yourself but you're realizing that you don't want to get that or you don't care to get that off the back of someone else you're realizing i have the power to get this myself and it's not worth the compromise it's not worth you know giving even more of my energy for a, for a you know a little piece of coin like We have healing family issues yeah I, I honestly i just get this energy where pisces you're really spiritually ascending and just growing up growing up what else is happening for pisces during this time Ooh. okay okay what oh my goodness pisces look at what we got here so we have the healing family issues card at the bottom of this one it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents now this could be parents this could be you know even past life energy oh my god there's so much going on i i feel like let's get into this we'll come back to that we have past life relationship honeymoon and wedding 
So I feel like through the, you know, generational issues you may have experienced, you know, we can we can break generational. There can be generational curses in love. You know, if your mom or your dad is constantly gone for just the wrong people you've experienced throughout your whole family bloodline, can't nobody get it together on the relationship front? I feel like your maturity is really breaking that pattern. So the people... Um, that come after you your children won't have to experience that they'll get a healthy example of love they'll see that love exists even through you the love that you have for them even if you don't have children just the fact that you're seeing things from a different perspective maybe you're opening opening yourself up you may be the first openly you know whatever person in your family whatever um you know orientation you choose and you're you're breaking that mold and expanding your energy um in that way but we got a lot going on pisces this is really cool um at the bottom of past life relationship card it says you have known each other before and then we have honeymoon and wedding enjoy the bliss of holiday time together is what it says at the bottom of honeymoon and then at the bottom of wedding it says this situation involves marriage so i really see things coming together and this is really that two of cups energy i was getting before again i know i literally pulled these from the romance deck but we don't have to make it about romance if romance is truly not on your mind this is about you balancing your own masculine and feminine energy or honoring yourself marrying yourself giving yourself the very best you know um yeah i love this pisces i love this energy wow okay okay <laughs> and then healing family issues i mean we still address that one i feel like that one's really kind of straightforward like i feel like you guys are um breaking some patterns here with the life that you're living and that's just super cool <clears throat> blessed beautiful 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 <clears throat> Oof, 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 Pisces. What? Wow, 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 wow. I ain't even gonna hold you. I would expect this, expect this more <laughs> from like your fellow water sign Scorpio. Like, what? Look at this, Pisces. We have a never ending story. <laughs> Time for a nap and a leg up. Someone is really trying to ride your coattail. Someone is trying to get a piece of this delicious Pisces energy that you got. And it's a never-ending story at this time. And you're like, nope, time for a nap. I'm going to focus on me. Bye. <laughs> like, and I skirt, skirt, skirt. Like, I really see you, like, skirting off on someone. <laughs> It's just so funny because it's really like this energy where Pisces doesn't care and people think you guys are just like so soft and sensitive and I'm like y'all don't know these signs at all. If you think Pisces is just soft, soft and sensitive, you got the game messed up. You guys can be tough just like the rest of them and I see you guys in that energy right now and I'm just shook to see it. I've never seen this energy for you guys. I haven't. So it is rare, but it's not impossible. And they doubted you and they thought that they would have you forever. And I see you just bossing up. Well, here's the thing. So we have time for a nap. So Pisces, you know, take it as a resonance, of course. But I don't see you completely cutting anyone off. But I do see you guys kind of hitting the snooze button on someone's call or declining calls or ignoring someone, not giving them fully what they want. Um, and yeah, they're not used to that. They're like, I'm sure they're shook right now. I am sure they're shook. Um, we have the blessed card and the new life card here. I feel you guys walking into a new period of your life, walking into a new era. Wow. <laughs> You're exuding this maturity and just grace about you, Pisces. Like, see, here's the thing. Even with the cutoff energy, I'm just more shocked to see that for you guys, like, in general. But, um, I don't feel like you're, you're, you're doing this in a, a mean way, a rude way. I don't feel like you're being abrasive or, you know, hurtful, hurting anyone, but, oh, they're simping. <laughs> they're simping. I hate to laugh at them, but they are. Aw. You know that, that, uh, <laughs> that meme, it's like, oh, that guy, he's like, oh, like, are you mad? <laughs> That's how I kind of feel like you guys are, but yeah, guys. We have this unfinished symphony i mean that's gone going in alignment with the card that we got before with you guys never ending story and they're like why why is there this change in the wind like hurry up pisces come back hurry up do what you need to do hurry up give me more of your energy and they're kind of having a fit like a toddler and i feel like you guys are really not even paying attention 
Like, I feel like you're still doing what you want to do. <laughs> Period. I'm here for it. And this is what I was talking about before. You guys are doing this with grace, with ease. And this is just what it is for you guys. Chap wood. That's just like, listen, I got work to do. You can go over there and cry in the corner, but I don't care either way. And again, it's not like malicious, but it's just like Pisces has had enough or Pisces is just focused on other things right now. Period. <laughs> We have answering the call. That's so funny because I feel like some of you guys are ignoring someone's calls because you know that they're just going to want to talk about the same thing. Okay. A few too many, Spirit. A few too many. Any other very important messages for Pisces from this deck, though? Any other very important messages they need to know from this deck? Ugh. Any more messages for Pisces? Any more messages for Pisces? Okay, the cards just want to talk to you, so let's just get into it. So we have answering the call, passion and pleasure, <laughs> yeah, and stepping into power. Wow, I'm shocked. I, I, I gotta say, I am shocked to see this. I am. Uh, answering the call, the time is now. I don't feel like this is about answering the call for a specific person, but I feel like you're answering your personal call. Um, your higher self has been shouting at you, you know, and uh, really kind of hoping and praying and waiting for you to feed into your higher self and get in alignment and just do for yourself and i feel like you guys are answering this call passion uh passion and pleasure savor your life is what it says at the bottom of that card i feel you guys doing that i feel you guys savoring your life because you're putting energy into the things that you want the things that are important for you and you're you're in a voyage of the heart right now I feel like you guys really are trying to step into something that's going to feel more fulfilling. And I feel like that's why all of this kind of happened here. Um, Voyage of the Heart, at the bottom of that card, it says love flows through you and to you. So don't allow anyone to make you feel like you're making the wrong decision or you're being harsh, brash, or cold because you're not. You're not. Um you're just putting yourself first and that's normal that's fine that's good in this situation stepping into power you are strong beyond measure and you're tapping into your personal power and that's the thing like you know people got to stop assuming that everyone is a for everything and they can just kind of do whatever because then things like this happen you don't have the right to be shook you know <laughs> rainbow blessings and grounding uh blessings are showering your life is what it says at the bottom of the rainbow blessings card so i definitely feel some abundance coming through for you pisces ascending wow there's just so much opportunities here um and then grounding at the bottom of that card it says grow go deep explore your roots so yeah you guys tapping into that energy i was getting that a little bit with you guys earlier i definitely feel like some of you guys are breaking some generational curses for sure and the universe is saying even though you're getting pressure from outside of yourself to you know focus on other people continue to go further in go within keep going keep going keep going because you're gonna find gold um this is amazing. I'm so proud of you, Pisces. Um, that was your spread. DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. And comment below what video you want to see next. I love you, Pisces. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one.